All right, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to go over what we did on the truck and then tell you what I'm gonna do. Here we go. So I did a lot of the sanding already. Uh, almost everything's done. I have a few little things to do around a couple spots like in here and stuff like that. Uh, same thing around in here. And uh, then I have some body filler to put in. A couple of these dents I couldn't push out all the way. So I'll have to go through and fill those as much as I don't want to. Do a little more hand sanding here. Um, these fender flares, I didn't want to take them off because there's a bunch of clips. It's like 27 of them. And they're really expensive, anywhere from uh, 3 to $6 for the clips. But I did manage to find them on Amazon and they were a hell of a lot cheaper. I think I paid $9 for 30 of them, which was awesome. Guess they're becoming more available. Um, this area here. So this right here, you're going to see there's a dent in the middle there. Uh, I tried to push it out, but it's double wall behind it. Got most of it out as much as I could. And then uh, I'm going to raptor line it from here over. So I'll sand this little piece here. Uh, try and pull this back some when I sand around there. And then the raptor liner should cover up that dent pretty good. Uh, I got to sand around these window frame things here. Uh, let's see what else did I do? Oh, I took this this uh, black stuff that was on there. It was peeling up really, really bad. This side's really sealed to it, um, but all this was. So I'm gonna prime it, and then I'll uh, raptor line these these strips on both sides. It'll look nice, and then I'll do the, they'll match the mirrors and the bottom of the truck and the fender flares. I might even do this piece here. I don't know. Uh, I still have above the cab up there, right around the windshield frame to do around this uh, for sanding. I'll try not to bore you guys with that too much. Uh, like I said the fender flares came off, did around here. This is all pretty good. Uh, I gotta still you have to do the door jams. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna tackle that yet. Uh, probably have to tape everything off like I did last time when I sprayed the gray. I'll do a little better job with the black. I gotta pressure wash this thing really bad. This is a factory installed supercharger. Um, it's got a hundred, it had 96,000 miles on it when I bought it. It's got 127,000 now. Um, so I've put right around 30,000 miles on it since I've had it. And I bought it in 2004. So I've had it for quite some time. Uh, it's got ABS. A few other little things. But uh, yeah, it's been a really, really good truck. I really don't want to get rid of it, but I'd like to put some money in the bank right now. And I have my F-350 and it pretty much goes everywhere this one does. Although this one has a smaller footprint, so it's easier to turn around on trails and stuff, which I found, because the F-350 is a little difficult when it comes to that kind of stuff. Let's see what else. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see on the flares, all this stuff is done. I'm gonna go back over everything, I think, and wet sand it one time before I, before I paint it. And that's it. That's all the stuff that's going on with it. So I clean up the spots with the grinder. So I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse, and then we will uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> 